Hello, this is Colin with Maker Farm. This is part 12 of the TiVo Tarantula build. In this video, we're going to show you how to put together your extruders. There's two extruders, either the TiVo Tarantula Titan extruder or the standard Tarantula extruder. We are going to start with the Titan. In the Titan extruder bag, you're going to find this little tiny gear that you will press onto your motor shaft. The motor shaft is a D shaft, and so it is also keyed on the gear as well. So you're going to want to make sure to align those up before you press it on. After that, get the plastic mount, and then we're going to get the uh, Titan assembly. Position it just like it's shown here in the video. And install three of the long bolts. You're not going to want to tighten these all the way down, just tighten them enough so that they stay in place. If you tighten them too much, it can crack the clear plate and it can also cause friction on the extruder. Once tight, go ahead and use the thumb wheel and make sure that it turns freely and that you have no obstructions. The PTFE tube is going to go in the bottom and we're going to install two of the M4 bolts and T-nuts into the extruder. Just put the T-nuts on a couple threads so that we can tighten them down later. To install the Titan on the frame, I like to first, of course, align the T-nuts and then install it on the top part. As shown here in the video, the same side that has the Z-motor bracket. And then you can go ahead and tighten down those M4 bolts. The extruder is not going to be fixed into place. It will move around a little, and that's okay. Last, we can connect the PTFE tube to the top of the Titan extruder. On the other end, we're going to want to make sure that we have a perfect 90 degree cut as it goes into the extruder. So if it is at an angle at all, you want to make sure to get a flat razor blade and make that a perfect 90 degree cut before you install it. When you do install it, you will make sure to push it all the way down into the hot end so that it stops moving. section is going to show how to put together the standard tarantula extruder, which is bag B-7-1. You can go ahead and open that up. This is the brass gear that we're going to use instead of the one that was pressed on for the Titan. There's going to be two set screws on it. You're going to want to make sure to loosen both of those up first. And then when you position it down, put one of the set screws on the flat spot of the motor before you tighten it down. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the metal bracket to the frame. You're going to want to get the two M4 bolts and T-nuts. Go ahead and install one of those into each of the two tracks of that metal mount. Then we will align the T-nuts and install it in the upper section here of the frame, close to that Z motor. Then go ahead and get your motor and position it as shown here in the video. To start, we're going to assemble the um, top section, the gold piece. Go ahead and screw in that PTFE fitting. Then get the blue piece, the bearing, and the 
bolt shown here. And go ahead and install that. It does need to be installed into the correct side. So make sure you install that into the side that I'm going to show you here. Now we're going to install the top gold piece. We're going to do that with two bolts. And they are going to go into the top two holes of the metal bracket and motor. Now we will install the idler part. Do you want to start a bolt in through the bottom there? This is going to retain the spring. And then go ahead and get this bolt and install it into that bottom right motor hole. When you tighten this one down, you don't want to tighten it all the way. We do want to make sure that this blue idler arm still moves freely. If it doesn't move, you put it in too tight. Then the spring will get installed into the groove in the upper gold portion. And if you can squeeze it in, it will go over that bolt. And then eventually we're going to tighten down the bolt to keep the spring in place. Make sure that it moves freely. And then the last thing we're going to do is install the PTFE tube into the push fit fitting that is in the gold section of the extruder.